Okay, everyone, let's continue looking at Module 26210-23, Circuit Breakers and Fuses, in NCTR 11th edition. This will be Section 3.00, Siding and Selecting Fuses. A fuse is the simplest device for opening an electric circuit with ex when excessive current flows due to an overload or fault condition. Fuses are intended to be connected in series with each phase conductor so that all con current must pass through the fuse. When the circuit current flow exceeds the fuse current continuous rating, the Lincoln fuse melts and opens the circuit. Fuses are manufactured in a variety of types, sizes, and voltage ratings. Voltage rating. The voltage rating of a fuse must be at least equal to the circuit voltage. If a fuse is used with a voltage rating that's lower than the circuit voltage, arc suppression is impaired, and the fuse may fail to contain the problem. Ampere rating. The type of load and code requirements must be considered when selecting the ampacity of a fuse. Generally, the amp rating of a fuse should not exceed the current carrying capacity of the circuit conductors. The amp rating of a fuse and switch combination is usually selected at 125% of the load current. Fuses must be able to sustain the largest potential short circuit and fault currents. Time delay ratings. All fuses have an inverse time current characteristic. For low current overcurrent events, the time delay must elapse before the fuse opens. Specific fuses have specific time delay values. Some fuses are designed where both a time delay and current limitation for high level short circuits are needed. Always consult the manufacturer's literature. Plug fuses are rarely encountered today. These fuses have a threaded base for the installation into a panel board or fuse holder. All new work involving plug fuses must use type S fuses. Type S fuses were developed to reduce the possibility of overfusing a circuit. There are 15 classifications of type S fuse with different size bases and matching adapters. The fusible link of plug fuses is visible through the window in the top of the fuse. Plug fuses are non-renewable fuses. Cartridge fuses are the most used type in fuse power systems. All cartridge fuses are now disposable once blown. Under normal operating conditions, single element cartridge fuses simply function as conductors. In the event of an overcurrent, a restricted segment of the link begins to melt and an arc occurs. Single element fuses provide excellent short circuit component protection. These fuses are best used in circuits that are not subjected to heavy transit surge currents or temporary overloads caused by motors and transformers. Dual element cartridge fuses provide both high performance, short circuit, and overload protection. These fuses contain both fusible links and an overload link. Dual element fuses may be used in circuits other than those serving inductive load. Most fuses are used for protection of branch circuits and feeders on systems operating at 600 volts or below. All fuses are tested and listed by the UL in accordance with established standard of construction and performance. Any cartridge fuse for branch circuits or feeder protection must be plainly marked. Cartridge fuses are classified according to their maximum voltage and ampere rating. Sizing fuses. Although there are general guidelines for sizing fuses, some specific applications require additional thought. Always consider the load characteristics and consult the appropriate NEC sections. Sizing dual element time delay fuses. For main service use, all ungrounded service conductors must have an in-series overcurrent device with an amp rating no higher than that of the conductor. For feeder and branch circuits, use set percentages of loads to determine the appropriate fuse size. For main service use, use all ungrounded service engine conductors must have a short circuit protective device that can manage current that exceeds the trip setting or melting point of the available fault current. For feeder and branch circuits, use set percentages of load to determine the appropriate fuse size. When size of fuses for a given application, give, given application, a schematic is essential. Coordination is a time relationship among overcurrent protective devices connected in series. Although safety is a prime consideration for fuse operation, coordination of their characteristics is also essential. The term non-selective or uncoordinated refer to applications where the fuse closet or the fault is not faster than one further away. Effective coordination minimizes the extent of electrical outage after a fault. Selective coordination is a selection of overcurrent devices with time and current characteristics that ensure the clearing of a fault or short circuit by the device nearest the fault on the line side. 
but selected coordination only the faulty part of the system is taken out of the survey. Every device selected coordinated is rated for the maximum fault current it can be exposed, and each device going back towards the service entrance should be faster than the devices closer to the supply. Always ensure the switch or circuit breaker is open before making any inspection or changes to an overcurrent device or the circuit it protects. Make sure all components are compatible with each other and the system. When an overcurrent protected device opens a circuit, determine the reason before simply changing the fuse or resetting the circuit. Make sure that the adjustable circuit breakers are properly calibrated. When testing, use the test breaker to trip devices one phase at a time. Never substitute a fuse or circuit breaker that is rated higher than the circuit conductors downstream. And some trade terms you should read over and become familiar with for this section. And some review questions for this section. Which of the following is a non-acceptable combination? 30 amp fuse used to protect a 20 amp motor circuit, non-motor circuit. A 45 amp fuse to protect a non-motor 10 amp circuit. 30 amp non-time delay fuse used to protect a 15 amp motor. 45 amp dual element fuse to protect a 15 amp motor. And that would be C, a 30 amp non-time delay fuse used to protect a 15 amp motor. Edison-based plug fuses are still used in construction of new single family homes, true or false? And that would be false. When sizing a non-time delay fuse for a branch circuit with no motor load, the fuse size must be at least 125% of the continuous load plus 100% of the non-continuous, 150% of the continuous load, 100% of the continuous load plus 100% of non-continuous load, 200% of non-continuous load. That would be 125% of the continuous load plus 100% of non-continuous load. Selective coordination is used in complex systems to shut down the whole system if a fault occurs in a feeder, ensure the device nearest any load is faster than all devices closer than to the supply, allow branch circuit faults to trip both feeder and service overcurrent devices, ensure that the main service fuses have the shortest opening time for any branch or feeder fault. And that would be B, ensure the device nearest any load is faster than all devices closer than the supply. All right, guys, that was it for that section. Next will be the review for the test for this module. We'll do that in the classroom, and I'll see you there.